Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. I just love it when we just all see how like attracts like. Just look at this loving brother, Eric Brazu, right here. He is right here and he's just positive and just shining off how he lives on those positive loving ones and going to share with us the virtuous examples and the features that you gain from all of it. Because Eric, you were saying that there's virtuous examples in a school that people can get their children to come to certain schools that are virtuous. What would you say? What do I say? Well, what ex asking? excuse me? What experiences do you have? What experience oh, do you have? Well, we have? The most wonderful, uplifting understanding that I have is that children here in Canada are going to specially designed schools by a organ the organ the Muslim organizational community here in Canada and it teaches them how to have to imbibe into their lifestyle into their lives the true essence of the pro of the prophetic teachings of their prophet of Islam and how to become contributing members of society and how to propagate the future generations on the right path and hmm. keep them moving towards what we would call the truth or the light. I hear you. I just want you to just make sure that you just say, hey, that the rest of them who don't have that in their, their area, they can just focus on getting that private school that has those private private ones there. So just call it the private school that you're a part of. And It, it is a private that, school. Okay, right. Are, so I'm saying we're only going to be responding on the private. Yes. No more yes. names anymore. No more names. Simply private from here. <laughs> And when they go to these private areas that you're talking about, what other um, features? Because you were talking about how there are some high virtuous examples that at these private schools they can get. So what are some virtuous features that they can gain? Well, some of the virtues are that they teach children at a very young age to, 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 to maintain their virtue by keeping completely separate. So there are separate entrances for both boys and for girls. And also classes are kept completely segregated for both boys and girls for obvious reasons, as we can imagine. That makes life a little bit easier sometimes. And it teaches them to have what was called a certain sort of um, modesty is very important to instill into these children. And that is why girls, even from the very youngest of ages, are taught to completely cover their complete body Mm -hmm. And okay. all that can be exposed, yes, well, that's very different from what we have with the Mali Cyrus and et cetera um, on stage. So these girls are taught that the only part of their body that can be exposed is sometimes their hands mm -hmm. and their face. It can be exposed sometimes, but sometimes it's encouraged even to cover that completely. So that the only person who will ever get a chance to see them, other than their mother and their father, of course, and their close and their brothers, would be their husband on obviously the the wedding night, as the one you know, used used to be maybe many years ago. Oh. And so, yeah. no, so and, and so it, it brings us back to what we had here at some point, whether it was fifty or a hundred years ago. I think we were expected to only only have intimate relations when we were married. Oh, so that school, that private school, is from baby, how how late, how old? Well, they, it goes from basically kindergarten mm -hmm. to up until what we would call pre-university. Oh, okay, the university time. Okay. And it's, it's, reg, it's um, we call it it's accredited. That's great, though. Hello. But all those foundations are essential. It is critical. And that yes. is awesome. I love it when we just see how important that foundation is. Yes, it's I mean, a wonderful it's a foundation. I feel myself as a virtuous diamond, because I just look at myself as a diamond. And when people <clears throat> walk around, people can carry, and you don't have to say a word. People can see that you feel that way. And this is how you are clearly a diamond, and you're not some cheap little thing. It's really correct. Really yes. I myself, on some level, even as a man, who, you know, I, I prefer, as a man, I should, I'm saying, I prefer women who are wearing dresses, at least, and modestly dressed, as opposed to women in Lululemon pants. 
<laughs> How about I hear you. I hear you. Those are the type of men I'm sure that, well, I know I want the virtuous one like that. That gentleman is awesome. That is so amazing. That's great to hear. So there are several more going on. I'm just grateful to see that there's more of that going all over the world, that we don't have to just sit here and, oh, is it going? There are more people who are afraid because I'm an auntie now, and I was trying to get my sister to see if she would. I didn't have one to show, but now I'll be able to show that, okay, there are some more private schools that they can just go and get that one at. So I'm, I'm grateful at just going to that private one there. And right, so you said there was some more angles for the whole family at schools? I mean, how does a family connect there? Well, what happens is, is often families, if I can take a step backwards and then go forward again, sometimes families find that their children are going astray in the public school system. Uh -huh. And so they'll take them out of the public school system to bring them into the private school system run by this religious organization to wow. set them along the right path. Along with being along the right path is family values and to increase the family. So little, and, and one of the problems in our world today is what we would call consumerism. Everyone wants to have the latest television, running shoes, vacations. You could say it's, it's almost a, a, an aspect of self-gratification, which is not the same as happiness and joy. It's just self-gratification. At least that's the way I see it and the way this or these people, this organization sees it. So we get more as a human species, as a people, possibly we get more Something life has more meaning from the community as opposed to the internet and uh, you know the latest pizza pizza or Xbox. That, that can only go so far. So instilling a, a sense of motherhood is very important under the prophetic teachings of the Sahaba and the Rashidun in this community, which goes back to the original teachings from 1400 years ago. And mothers are encouraged to have children, you know, at the age of 14, 13, and, and 15. And this is in order to promote the next generation of ch children and families who are on the right path. Because as we know, the mother is the first teacher. Oh, well, that's different on everybody because they're already promoting at 13, 14, 15. So apparently they're going to show the guys available that early because that's very early before the university. That's a bit early. So it shows how everybody will be choosing which private school they'll agree with on that family angle because that's a little early. I see that one. <laughs> they got to be able to enjoy life before they can, you know, have to jump into that big responsibility. So it's well, just well, that one. But, but your, it could be seen as what you're saying is, is, is correct. But on the other side, if someone believes family and community is what brings us happiness and, and connection to our, to our community, the, the larger the community and the more children, the more you can enjoy life. Okay, well, the larger the community. Okay, well, it's all on the community angles. But that's the whole point. It's just it's the whole community, you know, interacting and just doing the, because it does take a village to, to raise children. So it's the whole community yes. interacting and helping with each other out. Well, the, the community makes a point of, telling or asking people to always live amongst themselves within that community in order to support and propagate the community and to not, what's we call, to not um, to dilute the values or, or the, um, the structure of that community. So they, it's something that they safeguard and they, they, they purposely want to safeguard the community and the values in order to propagate the next generation.
Well, just following all the, you know, the standard rules. I'm sure the the Canada, Canadian government has those basic ones there. And as long as they're following this one, you're just saying that they're just promoting that. Mm -hmm. If you're following these wonderful ones and passing and uplifting each other, passing love and uplifting each other in the village, that's all the uh, private school is all about. The private school is all about what you just said is uplifting and making sure that the community propagates for the next generation and to keep the same heritage Okay. and the same, um, what do you call it? Um, yeah, basically the same heritage, the same uh, celebrations so that they have a sense of belonging to their community. Some people have said that if you have a 10 year old boy or children or they're always looking for a community. And sometimes that community that, that a, a boy can find might not be the community that is best for his growth as a man. Well, that's right, like you're saying, in the public. But when they have more of the private examples and they just see more of where the whole, net, you know, the networking angle, when they can just network and see more angles where everybody will be doing it all over, they'll be able to get led to the right move. So it's just networking and leading to the positive all over the world. So I like Correct. that. Yes. And, and, and so that creates the network, whether it's here in Canada, in the United Right, Kingdom, right, right. in Germany, it's all the same community that's helping to uplift their community to become more so that it can spread its values amongst and for everyone to have happiness and joy. That is critical because when you just Yes. see how, oh, okay, that we're all uplifting and everything more times and that network gets much stronger, they'll be able to just get that whole stronger network of loving them. Because it's Yes. clear, it is obvious when we just give that loving example more often. Because you give me a high five right here, give me the high five. Okay, high five. <laughs> Oh, we just uplift and shine off that. Oh, that's all it is. And that's why you're saying how that private school is. But when all of the adults as well, when everybody's just all shining that they're not hiding it just over here for the school, they're making sure that the whole village is strong. The village is uplifting and making sure that it'll be very smooth and simple for all of the children, for all of the people to just get into the next step. Yes, that, that's the exact, you couldn't have said it better than myself. And, and so that's why, I, you know, I shouldn't say that's why, but that's, you know, whether it's the universe or the karma, many words, I was led to take, to change the path that I was on to certain circumstances that happened to me in 2017. And I am now on a path to discover and to not to share what it is that, I discover with others about the joy and the the contribution that this community is making to Western civilization, including Canada. Clear that is very essential. That's not awesome. Well, we could just All right. <laughs> show folks how to come and reach out to you more because I mean, people love to see the true examples from you know people personally. So let's go and show them how they can come and connect right here. Because look at you, Mr. Eric Brazo is right here. And he just wants to shine off, right? All you have to do is go over here to his website, ericbrazo.com. Is this the main thing? Like, What else will they gain from that one as we're saying that you can get your book? What other things can they learn from you here? Oh, well, it says Islam's contribution. So the loving example will be there. That will be the example to understand how, what, where, to what extent Islam is contributing to Western civilization. And it will also give us an understanding of how, whether it's in 10 years or 30 years or 50 years, where exactly Islam is helping to bring us in the next 30, 50 years. Oh, I see. Okay. Well, that's one angle that they can see it there and folks can get, hmm, they want that deep one there. <laughs> they'll be able to connect and they'll be able to email you. They'll get the email and everything. They'll be able to No, interact. they, they can connect with me there. They can get the book there. They can see my, they can get to my other sites from there. That's basically Okay. the, the, my homepage in a sense. Oh, okay. 
That's cool. So they'll have all the details. Everybody loves that interactive one. <laughs> they'll be able to contact you quickly. Well, that's great to see. That's awesome. Sure, you'll get more people drive driven over there quickly. <laughs> well, that was smooth. I'm just all excited about the virtuous examples that we're showing folks that it is alive. It is still alive. We simply have to set those examples more often because more people Yes. are just trying to get more relaxed on how they can click on a mouse. But just because you can click, don't rush all of your children and don't enter, in, ignore the importance of that foundation. Yes, we have to go back to our true foundation of who we are as a humanity. Clearly, clearly. <laughs> Yes, clearly. And, and I have to say, this has been a wonderful experience. Amen. And I'm most... Why? I'm most glad that we've had this opportunity to spend this time together, just to have a laugh and sing a song. Amen. Because we are the world. We We are the children. are the children. We are the ones who make a Want bright. to make a brighter day, so just start That's giving. not giving. Amen. So we're giving our love, off. we're giving out the joy. My Yes. passion could just all uplift and be a family. Yes, it is. Yes. You're a most vibrant, wonderful person. Oh, thank you. You Your are joy too. and is coming right through the screen and grabbing me. Ooh, hey, hey, this is awesome. You got your private schools and every all those private networking angles. You've got that networking spot. So just keep all your networking. I'll keep I'll keep on keeping on. Amen. Thank you. And you as well. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. We just keep it going, Bob. And you guys all recognize how we can just connect with each other right away because I'm motivated to shine off mine. And we shined him off. But you see how you can connect with me. <laughs> just go over there to my site. Breaking the Cocoon, and you'll see more of my book right there. You'll see more interacting spots of how to speak with me. You speak with me clearly when you go right there to my site. Look forward to meeting more of you, hearing from more, and we'll have more testimonies to shine off how the great networking works. So have a great, great week, everyone. Enjoy.